This is basically the, the center touchscreen. This is where you can control basically most of the features of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, you only have two physical buttons here. One is for your hazard lights. Okay. And the other is for your glove box. Nice. Glove compartment. Nice and fancy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then you have 17 inches of basically touchscreen real estate to, to essentially do whatever you want to do. Yeah. And so we've added a ton of awesome features here. So uh, up here you have your apps. Yeah. And this is where you can actually drag and drop whatever apps you want onto either one of these two portions of the screen. Okay. So this is your music, for example. Your nav is already open. Uh, your energy graph, you can drag and drop. Your wow. camera, you can drag and drop. And your camera is a 720p HD camera, by the way. Okay. Um, and there's an internet browser as well that's built in. So the nice. car actually comes with a 3G SIM card. Yeah. And that'll let you surf the web. Um, basically do whatever you want to do online. That's awesome. Of course, you probably shouldn't do it while you're driving. Yeah. Uh, but technically you can, or I guess your passengers yeah. could do it. Yeah, yeah, it makes um, sense. And uh, yeah, mainly the, the 3G internet is used for us to be able to update the car with, with cool and awesome features. So okay. there's, a, there's a cool update coming out very soon which will add a whole slew of new features to it, but some examples of things we've added are, are something like um, like driver profiles. So basically, up here, you can set up to 10 different profiles, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll basically memorize your seats, your steering wheel, the position of your mirrors, which is pretty cool, and a lot yeah. of cars do that. But this also memorizes, for example, which windows you have open, where they're open, <laughs> what temperature you've set. Um, so your, it takes to a whole new level. Exactly. Uh, you know, more specifically what driving settings you prefer as well, which, yeah. which I'll go through in a, in a second. Um, down here you have your climate controls, so this okay. always stays here, just like the ribbon up top. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the windows you can actually make full screen, like your browser. Just tap nice. The um, <coughs> your nav system. That right. is fantastic. Full 17 inch fitness, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's very responsive, you can pinch the zoom, you can rotate it, basically do whatever you want. Wow. Um, and, uh, yeah, you have live traffic, which you'll see show up in a second. There it is. Wow, that's awesome. And um, you also can view satellite imagery as well if you really want to. Nice. Yeah, which is pretty cool. <laughs> that is really cool. It just fills it up like a jigsaw yeah. puzzle. Um, down here you have your car controls. Mm -hmm. So this is where you can do things like opening and closing the sunroof. You go ahead and give that a shot. So I just open? like. Wow, <laughs> mm -hmm. that is awesome. Yeah, basically makes it feel like you're in a spaceship. Or yeah, it really does. <laughs> really high tech, and you can slide it up and down as well. Oh, okay, so you can just specifically whatever percentage you want to set. Wow, that's so amazing. Fifty-one percent. Fifty-one percent. Yeah, yeah. that great. is really cool. That's a great opening. Yeah. Amount. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there's also presets. There's like the vent. Mode. Yeah. So this will just this just angles it right. Yeah. Nice. And uh, you can also do it right over here as well. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, down here you have your doors and locks. So this is where you can lock and unlock the doors. So this will extend and retract the door handles. Mm -hmm. uh, you can open the front trunk from here. You can open the charge port from here. This is what we did with the, uh, the actual oh, yeah, charge the cable as well. Yeah. And you can open and close the trunk from here as well. Wow. Uh, closing it though would require the tech package. The okay. tech package has a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the lights. So your dome lights. Basically these interior LEDs. Mm -hmm. And then Very the back nice. as well, right? Um, and these are also push button. Yeah. So you can turn them on and on, uh, on okay. and off individually. Down here you have your main headlights. So right now it's on auto, so they're all off. But yeah. You can turn on just your parking lights, for example, mm -hmm. or your actual high beams, which you can see just turned on. Okay. And so you just leave it on auto. Um, if you had the interior lighting package, there'll be another op option here for ambient. Okay. And basically, it would add LEDs all the way underneath the door okay. panels and foot wells, and in the back as well. Nice. Um, this is the one we're going to be actually playing around with on the drive. Okay. Uh, so there's one option that this car doesn't have, it's the air suspension option. Mm -hmm. With air suspension you'll be able to raise and lower the height of the car, <laughs> yeah, which, uh, which comes in handy sometimes. Yeah. Um, but generally the, the feel is, is almost the same uh, okay. between the regular suspension. So they, they don't really feel particularly <clears throat> different, it's mm -hmm. really just the, the height ability okay. um, that you'll have. Steering mode on the Model S is fully electrically assisted, meaning uh, you can actually change the stiffness of the steering wheel as you're driving totally on the fly. So uh, when you put it into comfort mode, mm -hmm. it will become very, very light. It'll become sort of like a Cadillac, or yeah. like, a, like a big American pickup truck, for example. Okay. Super light steering. And then sport will stiffen it up and become very BMW-like, much, much stiffer and yeah. more direct. Um, 
Have you heard of regenerative? Actually, we talked about this. Oh, yeah, recently. inside, yeah. So when it's on standard, the, the sensation you'll feel, and this is probably the only thing that's actually different mm -hmm. between, wow, between <laughs> driving this and, uh, and the other car, really. You let go of the accelerator pedal, mm -hmm. and instead of coasting like every other car, yeah. it actually slows down quite significantly. So I drive, it's like when I leave my car, I drive a standard car. It's like when I leave it in gear, and it that's just, right. oh, exactly. that's yeah. awesome. You leave so it in gear, you don't really feels normal. It. <laughs> and it's, you know, when you downshift, it actually decelerates, right? Yeah. Um, so this is like a very aggressive downshift. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it's much more, uh, much much quicker reduction in speed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, performance car drivers or <coughs> manual drivers are actually very used to it, and, and most yeah. people get used to it even if they're not used to it in a mm -hmm. short period of time. But the cool part is if if you've driven automatic all your life, you don't like that sensation, you know. Yeah. You don't want it at all. All you can do, you gotta do, is switch it over into low, That's and it'll actually coast more like a regular car. Oh, right. You'll have <laughs> to actually use your brakes. Mm -hmm. But with standard, over ninety percent of the time, you barely even touch the brakes. Essentially, you, yeah. you apply the brake when you come to a full stop. And yeah, it. that is oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Even it's good for the winter. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and creep is something we added through one of the software updates, the earlier <laughs> ones. Basically, it adds uh, the feeling of an automatic transmission. You know. When okay. You're, off the line, you let go of the brake and the yeah. car slowly starts to roll forward. Yeah. First gear is engaged, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a transmission here, so there's nothing actually engaged all the time. It's not manual or auto, it's really just one fixed gear. Yeah. Um, so previously, creep was off and essentially this feature wasn't even here. Mm -hmm. But uh, what you were able to do is, essentially the feeling is you let go of the brake and yeah. you could only move the car if you accelerate it. Okay. Now you leave it on. And, and you let go of the brake and it goes on its own. So it's like an automatic car. That's right. The same. That's exactly. awesome. Cold weather. This is something we added a few months ago as well. Mm -hmm. uh, not through a software update, but uh, just because the heated seats in the back. So yeah. heated seats in the front are standard. Um, the rear seats <coughs> you can have heated as well. Wow. Um, and my favorite is probably the heated wiper blades. That so is cool. Really, really <laughs> useful. Came in handy back in like, December, January when yeah. we had that ice storm. Trips. Pretty typical trip computer shows you how far you've gone yeah. since the last time you charged the car. And instead of liters of gasoline, it shows you how many kilowatt hours of electricity you've consumed. Okay. Um, and what your efficiency is like. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in a regular car, you would have this many liters per 100 kilometers. Yeah. Now you have <coughs> this many watt hours per kilometer. Okay. So it really just shows you how, how, how efficient you've been. Same idea, like different metric. Yeah, exactly. Uh, display <coughs> brightness is where you can adjust the brightness of the screen. All right. And uh, screen cleaning mode is also something we added through software recently. Mm -hmm. You go into screen cleaning mode, disables the screen so you can wipe it down, get okay. rid of all the fingerprints, mm -hmm. and then press and hold to go back. That is awesome. Pretty simple. All right. All right. That's about it. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a ton of other settings as well. So this is where you can do things like alter your driver profiles, make any changes you want, different units in format. For example, if you go over to the US, everything's in miles. You can just switch it over. Okay. Um, Vehicle settings, very, very customizable. So things like, do you want the doors to lock when you drive away? Do you want them to lock when you walk away? Mm -hmm. Lots of, lots of things you can actually uh, adjust. Safety and security settings, homelink. Homelink is cool. Basically, you, you pull into your driveway, mm -hmm. and based on the GPS, your uh, your garage door will automatically open if it's a homelink garage door. That is cool. Which is awesome. You can also control them manually right from here as well. Okay. You can have three different garage doors. Mm -hmm.